you are receiving your miracle money today your financial breakthrough is about to ah doors are about to open for you today but the first thing that this lady did she took a step of faith oh she challenged the god of our father major one oh yes she said i don't care where food is going to come from but i'm taking this faith fruit i'm putting it on the altar but while she's here you know the devil now he starts he say oh you are bringing let's see what how you are going to eat but before she started regretting or anything the God of Major One just surprised her with a new salary in the account. You are about to receive your own. When Major One declares financial breakthrough, you are about to receive your own. You are about to receive your own in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope you are not bringing 10 rand because what is coming in your account will be 10 rand. So um, this year, February, I applied for a motivational talk show on One Gospel, Channel 331, called Feed Your Soul, Amen. And uh, I've been an inspirational speaker probably all my life, and I've been looking for this one breakthrough to speak the Word of God. And under the grace of our Father, I was like, you know what, I am doing this, and I'm going to do it. So in February, I applied. I heard nothing from them. I waited and waited. And um, the content producer, she contacted me, I think it was June, July, and she said to me, well, Elizabeth, you're still on a waiting list. We'll just see how it works. We're speaking over the phone. And I was like, no ways, I refuse. I am a daughter of Major One. I will not wait again. And um, as we were speaking, she said to me, well, I'll just check on you again in October. We'll see where we can squeeze you. And um, she hung up. And tongues of fire came upon me. I'm like, no ways. This lady, she's going to call me back. And indeed, saints, a minute or a few seconds later, she really did call me back. And she said, Elizabeth, I don't know what just happened. We have a space for you on the 1st of August. We want you to come and shoot. Amen. And um, as we were talking over the phone, she said, I will email you all the details and we will take it from there. On the email, she sent all the details that I'll be shooting two episodes. And usually, saints, you only shoot one episode and that's done. But the grace of my father is just too much. He, um, the lady was like, listen, you're going to shoot two episodes and we'll see how it works out if we take you or not. So I went on the 1st of August and I got there. I started shooting. I mean, I was in awe of the grace of our Father and the favor I shot, and it went amazing. And immediately when I finished, the lady said to me, I'll send you an email, and I'll communicate to you when it will be broadcasted on national TV. Saints, this is not Kulula Kalala, this is DSTV, hallelujah. And... Um, when, when um, I got the email to say that I'll be, uh, the show will be showed on the 28th to the 20, 26th and 28th, um, I received the email and I started um, showing everybody on social media to tune in and tune in. And they showed it on 28th and the responses that I got were very overwhelming. I got emails from Kenya, Namibia, um, Zambia, you name it. Our father is international, amen. And I got inv invites from, um, from Botswana, Lesotho, and they called me. They want me to come and minister to them. I empower young women, empower young gentlemen. And this is just only the beginning, saints. My life has totally turned around. Um, when I got a phone call from my mother, she was watching at my cousin's place. We had a wedding there. All my uncles and aunts were watching. I was blown away how she said, my daughter, I am so proud of you. You have really made us proud and the family is really proud. She was like, even your uncles who are alcoholics, they are bowing down and they are saying God is amazing and they are worshiping God and this is the calling of God. I've run away from, from it too long and now it's time to give glory to the Lord and the God of Major One. Amen. So, you, you were turned a celebrity overnight. Hallelujah. When you said, I am a daughter of Major One. Amen. Immediately they record you. Amen. And say the space has been found. Amen. So you are a celebrity now. Hallelujah. Like my brother sings Onismas from Autographs, nobody. autographs, autographs. <laughs> you find her on the outside. This is amazing. You know, in ECG, by what our Father in the Lord teaches us, we know too much. 
Believe me, if you could go to another church, when you sit there, before the pastor speaks, you say, ah, he's about to go. What we know concerning the things of God under our father, Major Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, it does not matter you are a pastor, you are not a pastor. You can sit with somebody, that somebody will ask you, where do you go to church? Or they will ask you, which school did you call for Bible school? You will say, I'm a son of Major One. I am taught by the major prophet, Shepard Bushiri. So what we are learning here, let's not keep it. Let's preach to those who are not able to hear what we are hearing from the prophet. Let's share the mysteries that we are hearing from our father in the Lord. She's saying the people who were drunkards, they are now bowing down to say, but my daughter, we are proud of you. What they don't know is what she is speaking. She has learned it from our father in the Lord. You don't know who you are until you speak it out. They are about to know who you are in the mighty name of Jesus. You are about to become a celebrity in the mighty name of Jesus. So what can you say, my sister? Since your life just turned like that, what can you say to the people who are watching you, your sisters and your brothers, and the people who are watching you at large? What can you advise concerning the God of Major Prophet Shepard Bushiri right now? You know, when Dad always tells us you need to be patient, and sometimes you may feel that, God, it's taking too long. But saints, I, I'm talking from experience. And I'm talking from my own personal journey with the God of Major One. When Dad says, wait in Jerusalem, he really says, wait. And your turn will come. Your time will come. And stay in your lane. Stay in your lane and do what you have to do. Do it for God. Forget about your friends. Forget about what you need to do. Serve the living God, the God of Major One. Hallelujah. And um, this is only the beginning. God is going to give you guys testimonies. And I can't wait to hear what God is doing with you guys. Amen. You see, she, she is speaking like a celebrity. Hallelujah. She is speaking like a celebrity now. She has taken herself out of your sister. Now she's somewhere there on top. You are about to go the same in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of Major One is about to uplift you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please quickly introduce yourselves and tell us your testimony. Good afternoon, sons and daughters of Major One. My name is Mando. I am from Soweto in Snake Park. With me here, I've got my son by the name of Tumi. I am here today to glorify God of Major One for the wonders that he did to me and my family. I was once an international this year, Good Friday. Um, sons and daughters of Major One, you know, God of Major One, he is so powerful. He did so much wonders in my life. My son to me, he was having problem, he was having bad behavioral problem. Uh, I remember at one stage, what I was do, driving with him. What do you mean, bad behavior problems? I mean, he was acting like a madman for the past 10 years. I remember so one time... Your, your son has been acting like a mad person? Yes. For the past 10 years? For the past 10 years. What has been happening with him? Uh, what I can say is, I cannot mention them all. I remember one time I was driving with him uh, in the car. He opened the door of the car while the car was on motion. He just threw himself out. Another thing, he attempted to burn my house. He, he jumped on the moving car. Yes. And he attempted to burn the house twice. And even if when I'm at work, I'll receive phone calls from my neighbors calling me that come quickly. The situation is bad at home. And when I arrived at home, he broke things at home, the coffee table. I was not having peace for the past 10 years. In short, I would like to say, I became, I, I registered as an international this year. Good Is there, the, the, for the past 10 years, yes. for the past 10 years, did you uh, try to take him anywhere else? Maybe the doctors, maybe Sangomas? Yes, I did try that. I took my son to different places, different prophets, different Sangomas. He even stayed there for some time. I took him to four different places. He stayed there training as a Sangoma, training as a prophet, but none of that did help. Nothing you, did You took him either. to a Sangoma? Yes. How long did he stay at the Sangoma? 
I remember the other one he stayed two months, training as a Sangoma. The other one stayed for four months, the other one two months. The last one he stayed in Deben Nanda for two months also. And by the time he's there, I'm popping out man to those people. I'm popping out man, promising me that everything will be all right. But when he comes back home, he starts from afresh again. Yeah, eh? Sangomas, two months, four months, keeping a person. Maybe your relatives have been kept by Sangomas. Maybe you have been kept by Sangomas. I thank the God of Major One we are together today. I thank the God of Major One we are about to glorify His name today. I thank the God of Major One you are about to receive your breakthrough today. And by the time I was doing that, I used to have cars. I was having three cars, BMs. But now I don't have a car. BMWs. Yes. But now I don't have a car. I'm using taxis. Even to come here, I use taxis. Because Be of Sangomas, yes. the money is gone. Yes. I owe everybody the credit card because of I was trying to find life for my son. Are you hearing this story? This woman, if you are a woman, if you are a mother, you understand. For 10 years, 10 solid years, the son is acting mentally disturbed. He's acting like a mad person. And that does not give peace to the mother. So she's trying everything she could. But she does not know that there is God of Major Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. So she's taking the child to all the wrong places. To a Sangoma. I don't know if Sangomas have boarding schools or what. But the child is staying there for four months. Trying to make him to be a Sangoma also. When he comes back, he's doing the same things. Three cars. She's losing cars, selling cars to assist the child. But nothing is happening for the period of 10 years. So fast forward to, is it this year or last year? This year. This year. Yes. I came this year. I registered for international this year, Good Friday. And... International visitor? Yes. Did you come with your son or you came alone? No, I came alone. You came alone? Yes, he wanted to come with me, but financially I was not okay to come with him. I came alone. So when I was there, uh, I came, after the international, when I get back home, Papa gave us our um, gifts. And was I was it? also having the uh, deliverance water and the line of Judah. Uh, sons of daughters, sons and daughters of Major One. I want to tell to say something. You know this line of Judah. It's working. It's really working. My son never went to the doctors, the Sangomas again. He was healed by the line of Judah and the deliverance water. I praise God to the God of Major One for what he did to me and my family and i'm happy today because there's peace at home i've got nothing that is material but i've got peace and i am rich spiritually thanks to god of major one you are about to receive your peace as well what was he working but for the past 10 years let me say for the past seven to nine years he was not working after a month from the international, my son was completely healed. After a month, the following month also, he got a job. As we are speaking, he's working. You are receiving your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of Major One is about to do it for you in the mighty Think about this. On his resume or CV, the only experience he could put there is 10 years madness. That's all that he has known for the past 10 years. But when he came to meet, actually it was the mother who came, the son was home. Sangomas have been taking the son for four months. When the son is coming out, the condition gets worse. The mother comes because of the son with a prayer petition to say, Major One, I need my son to be healed. The son is even away. Major one just touches the mother. The mother receives for the child. The same month, the child receives his deliverance. The child, the following month, the child who has not worked for the past seven, eight years, the following month, he receives a call to start working. The God of Major One is about to do something for you. 
I'm saying he is about to do something for you. It does not matter you are in the miracle tent. When major one has declared it is about to happen to you. It does not matter you are watching on prophetic channel. Today you are about to receive your breakthrough. So do you remember the times you, you uh, the mother said you have been at, at Sangomas? Do you remember those times? Pastor, truly speaking, if my memory serves me well, Pastor, actually some of the things I've used to hear from them. Because, Pastor, there was one moment, Pastor, if I do remember that situation, Pastor. Pastor, I was at home. Okay, Pastor, actually, while in my room, actually, I had matches on me. So, actually, I was sleeping on top of my, what you call, uh, mat. So, Pastor, to my surprise, actually, I, I've noticed the flames, Pastor, as in like, and the smoke, Pastor, inside. Then hearing from my neighbors, Pastor, as in like, hey, come help me, come help with water. Please. So there was a flame in your room? Yes, pa yes, Pastor. And you were in the room? I was in the room. And you were not doing anything? No, Pastor, that, those, those moments, Pastor, I can't say I was smoking. Because, Pastor, actually, I've got plus minus maybe 10, 10 years, Pastor, as in like, maybe left smoking, Pastor. I was not smoking, but I had matches on me. And you just set the house on fire? Surely, Pastor. And it was your neighbors, the, it was the neighbors who said, come and started to, to pour water on them. I've heard the neighbors and already when I got outside, Pastor, I saw thousands of people, Pastor, as in like support, actually needing to assist. So what you are saying is even in your neighborhood, people knew of your condition. They knew my condition, Pastor, I can say. They knew of what was happening with you the past 10 years. Yes, Pastor. And right now, you are speaking as a man of sense. Right now, you are on prophetic channel glorifying Pastor, the God I'm of I'm totally and 100% healed and I've got a, a perfect baby boy and a healthy boy, boy and a baby boy and a wife, Pastor. You have a wife and a baby boy now. Pastor, I can't really say he's my wife, but she's my mother of them, my child, Pastor. Cause and I you are been, also working right now. I am currently working, Pastor. And you never worked for the past 10 years? Pastor, I've never worked for 10 years, Pastor. What can you say? After, can you believe this man was mentally disturbed? I heard his voice. I saw him moving. And I'm no longer the same. Chains are broken. Now I am free. I'm no longer Come on, somebody say, I heard I heard his voice I saw him moving I'm no longer the same The chains are broken Now I am free I'm no longer the same We say, cause where you are there are me where you move, there are mighty things, mighty God, holy one, we worship you. Hey, where you are, there are miracles. Where you move, there are mighty things, mighty God, holy one, we worship you. Where you are, where you are, there are miracles. Where you move, there are mighty things. His voice, I saw him moving, and I'm no longer the same. All chains are broken, now I am free. I'm no longer the same. Your life will never be the same again. After today, your life will never be the same again. There is a breakthrough coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. My mother, you are the one who has been tortured out of his condition. 
Now the God of our Father, you just came as an international visitor. Yes, Everything about you changed. Yes. And we have heard the prophet telling us about the international visitors. Guess what? The first testimony, she came as an international visitor. This is the second testimony, she came as an international visitor. There is a special angel, according to the words of our Father, that is assigned for international visitors. Something is about to happen to international visitors. So what can you say? After you have gone through everything for 10 years, you have lost cars, you said. And now you just came here once, the prayer of the prophet, the sun is healed, the sun is waking, and you have peace. What can you say concerning the God of Major One to the people who are watching right now? Uh, to people out there who are watching Prophetic Channel, I want to tell you the truth that this is not fake, this is not magic, this is real. Whatever is happening here in ECG, it's real. Because I've seen that it happened to me. And I would like to say to Papa, Papa, you are so powerful. You bring life to the lifeless bodies. You bring hope to people who are hopeless. You bring joy to people who are sad. I thank you, Father. Something is happening in your life today. The God of Major One is about to do a miracle in your life today. You are coming back with your own testimony. You are coming back with your own testimony. Yes, my sister, quickly introduce yourself and tell us your testimony, please. Uh, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My name is Londiwe Mlombo. I'm from KZN. I'm based in St. Juron in Pretoria. I'm here to glorify God of my father about what he has done in my life. I came here last year, October. I was not working. Uh, my company was not working at all. It was not moving. I opened it in 2013, uh, but nothing was happening. But since I came here in October, I was at Hall C. Papa touched me. From that day, my life has changed. All was done. That was the first time you came here? It was not the first time, but it was the second time. It was the second time? Yes. And you were in Hosi and the prophet laid his hand on you? Yes. And everything about you changed? It, it changed. Uh -huh. After that, I, I applied for the... T I just sent my, my details on the company here in Pretoria. Um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a week, they sent me an email. I was expecting them to send maybe a code for me to code how much I called them. But I just got a contract that was waiting for my signature. You applied for that one? Yes. You applied for that one? Yes. And uh, the contract was no meetings, no nothing. They just sent you a, a contract to say? I'm appointed. I got an order that I need to come and work. It's for cleaning. It was an order of worth how much? It, when I started, it was so that it's for one month. But if I go there, I was appointed for block B. If I go there, they give me block A, the biggest block. They said, I can't, we can't give you the small one, but we're going to give you the bigger one. And how long, how long was your business stagnant for? For how long was your business uh, uh, not doing anything? It, from, as I, I opened in 2013. So since 2013, yes. your business has not been doing anything until you came here? Nothing was happening at all. So for about four years, nothing happening with your business? Yes. The prophet just touches you, everything starts moving in your business? Everything starts moving. My car, well, the disc was expired. I didn't have even money to, uh, to, to renew it. But since Papa touched me, everything was open and everything was going. Even there, when I started working there, um, uh, the, you are the, even wearing makeup now, nice makeup. Do you know how much it is to renew a disc of a car? It is less than 500 rands, I believe. And she could not manage. And makeup is more expensive than renewing a car. Because it's a, an everyday event. So if she could not manage to renew a car, it's obvious. She couldn't manage lipstick. But God of Major One has changed her story. Now she's back to looking like a uh, chweng chweng. God of Major One is about to do it for you. 
My sister, what can you say? Uh, can I continue? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, I want to add on that. I apply on Friday, on Monday morning. It was five o'clock. I get that contract that they appoint me. And if I go there, as I said, they give me Hall A. Hall A was a bigger one. They extend my contract to 300,000, I think. But it di I didn't get even that 3,000. It was much because in two weeks now I get uh, 85,000. And I even have uh, more than 40 employees. I mean, I more than 40? Yes. More than four zero employees? Oh. Yes. You were failing to, to renew the disc of your car. Yes. Now you have more than 40 employees after Major One prayed for you. Yes. You are about to own your own company. You are about to be called a boss in the mighty name of Jesus. They will call you a boss in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I add again? And uh, God of my father blessed me with a new car, the Ranger. I bought it cash. You can scream louder than that. Oh, this God of our father, Major Prophet Shepard Bushiri. From failing to renew a disc to buying a Ford Ranger with cash. You are about to buy your own in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm saying you are about to buy your own in the mighty name of Jesus. The same prophet who changed our life is the same prophet who is about to come and minister in your life. Your life is about to change today. Your situation is about to change today. Your lives will never be the same again. What can you say, my sister? This is amazing. Uh, I can, uh, all I can say, have faith in God of Measure One. He's a God of wonders. He has done it for me, and I believe he can, done, can do it for you. Do you believe? Do you believe? Then today is your day. Today you are about to come with your own testimony. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Just introduce yourselves and tell us your testimony. Uh, greetings, sons and daughters of Papa. My name is Chabam Pasele. Next to me is my beautiful wife, Lebhang Pasele. And we are from uh, Nels Breed in Pumalanga. We are here to glorify God of Major One for a strategic breakthrough that we had in our lives. Previously, we have been married for 10 years. We struggled to conceive. But uh, through the grace of God, our Father... You have been married for 10 years. Yeah, we've been married for a period of 10 years without any baby in the no house. No issue. No baby in the house. No baby in the house. Man 10 years. For a period of 10 years. Then, uh, by the grace of God, uh, of our Father, we you... were fortunate to be part of the... What? You have to understand. 
we have been struggling. You hear that? There are people who plan. But them they are saying we have been struggling for 10 years, but no issue. Meaning to say, small, small was there, trying to find a child, but a child is not for 10 years. And uh, previously, during that period where we were struggling, we consulted uh, specialists uh, throughout the country, Cape Town, Deben, Pretoria, and then they all told us that, no, the chances of us conceiving naturally were almost non-existent because they diagnosed me with uh, low sperm count and sperm immobility. Then we uh, underwent uh, very painful uh, medical procedures and... Uh, those procedures could not uh, assist us anyway. Then we kept on trying them again. We went for a process that is called in vitro, but it could not assist us. Which uh, one is in vitro? That's where they try to do uh, artificial insemination for, for, co for conceiving. All right. Then At after least that process, we went again to try the same process again, but it did not assist us. Then we were introduced to God of Major One, then we were fortunate that we, last year in August, we had the privilege of attending the Fruit of the Womb service. Then, uh, last year, August, la last year in August, when the prophet said, whoever is struggling to have children, come. Yes. Yeah, when, uh, our, when Papa said, no, uh, everyone who's uh, struggling to have children, this is your service, come. We do not uh, want to miss the opportunity. We said, let us put our hope in God of but, our Father. But you are saying before that, you went to specialists in Cape Town. Actually, you are saying you finished the whole South Africa. Yeah, we finished the whole South Africa trying to get assistance. And, and all and the specialists were telling you that your chances are zero. They told us that our chances were very, very minimal to conceive naturally. They said your chances are, zero, are minimal. Very minimal. Minimal. Yes. And the prophet, the specialists have told them that your chances are minimal to zero. The prophet did not say, he said, whoever is struggling. He didn't even specify, he said, whoever. Are you hearing that? Why? Because he's serving the living God. It does not matter what the doctors have told you. When it's the prophet of the living God, Major One, what is about to declare to you, it is what is true in the mighty name of Jesus. It does not matter what your neighbors have told you. It does not matter what your education has told you. What the prophet of God is about to tell you, that what is about to matter in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are about to come with your own testimony. Yes, sir. Then uh, during the uh, fruit of the womb service, we came with open hearts and believed that indeed God of our Father will favor us. Then we attended the fruit of the womb in August. Then the next month in September, we got the good news. When I came home uh, from work, I found my wife very excited saying, uh, Papa, Papa, God of Major One has done it for us. I'm pregnant. Then I said, wow, uh, we prayed and glorified God of Major One and said, no. For us to be sure that indeed you are pregnant, we cannot rely on a pregnancy kit at home. Let us go and do a professional uh, pregnancy test at uh, the laboratory. Then I push them that, no, I want the result today. Do you know they, the uh, reason he said so? The reason he said so is because of the torture he has gone through the years. So there are times the devil presses you so much that when God has done something, you don't believe it. Have you seen people coming here to testify after one year of cancer maybe? And the prophet asked, why did you take one year? They say, I was expecting it to come back. Now that it is not coming back, now I can testify. So he said, uh-uh, we cannot depend on this thing you have just bought in a shop. Let's go to the same specialist who told us we cannot conceive. And when you went to the doctors... Then when we went to the doctors, they took us to the lab where they did, they drew blood to run a, a pregnancy test. Then we pushed them to get the result same day, and then the result confirmed that indeed my wife was six weeks pregnant. Six yes. weeks pregnant? Yes, man, of course. Meaning to say, when did she conceive? Uh, probably uh, to, towards the end of August, so it's probably during the, the fruit of the womb service, man of God. It was during the fruit of the womb service? So from shooting blanks to a uh, God of Major One is a butter. From shooting blanks to grenades and bazookas and 
He is about to answer your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. What was impossible is about to become possible. You are coming back with your own testimony. It does not matter what specialist has told you. Major one is about to tell you a different story. Major one is about to bring an answer to your struggles. Uh, then after the doc they confirmed that my wife is six weeks pregnant, today we are here to present our beautiful, uh, our ba baby boy, Shama, that God of Major One has blessed us with. We thank the God of Major One for the strategic breakthrough. And then we are saying to all South Africans, when you have lost hope, when specialists have told you that uh, you cannot achieve anything, God of Major One is there to turn around any situation that even specialists have said is impossible. But with God of Major One, everything is possible. With the God of Major One, everything is possible. Even your situation is about to turn around. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are dependable, Yahweh. situation and say Yahweh, 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 you are dependable, you are dependable, Yahweh, 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 you are reliable, Yahweh, 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 You are dependable, Yahweh. Sai. You are reliable. You are reliable, Yahweh. Yahweh. Whoa. Yahweh. Sai. Yahweh. My sister, quickly tell us your name, uh, where you're coming from, and your testimony, please. Greetings, sons and daughters of Major One. My name is Ndombi. I'm from Boxburg. Originally, I'm from the Eastern Cape, Lusigisigi. I need you to just take note of my introduction. My name is Ndombi. I'm from Boxburg. I'm originally from the Eastern Cape. And Angosi Uzi Zamele Sitao. My king is King Mbondombi Nisitao. Hallelujah. Amen. My testimony goes like this. The first day I stepped my foot on this arena of liberty, I received my testimony. Hallelujah. I sat in the miracle tent that was in March 2016. I was undergoing initiation to be a Sangoma from 2015. Hallelujah. I have struggled with the Sangoma calling for many years. And these two beautiful children, this is Khadija Kamisoko. This is my son, Isa Kamisoko. This one is seven years. This one is four years. Ever since they were born, they were sick. They were having fits which you call epilepsy, one after another. I would go All to of one them. hospital. All of them? Both of them. The other one is seven years old? The other one is four years. So when that one was born, uh, you she, having fits. He had fits. the same sickness. And you have the second child, the same, same condition. Sickness. That left me with no choice but to answer the calling of Sangoma. As I was told by Sangomas, remember, I went to doctors, I went to hospitals, I ended up with Sangomas. Then I got initiated as a Sangoma. So the, the reason you were initiate, initiated as a Sangoma was because... My children were sick. 
So you are saying that them having feasts is a calling? Yes, they for told you to me be it's a, a calling. Yes. Oh, Lord. So, for the children being sick, having epilepsy, eh, is a calling that you should be a Sangoma. Hallelujah, that's correct. And you, you accepted the call. I did. <laughs> and I went through it, and nothing was changing. Until March 2016, I was introduced to the God of Major One. Everything changed. You went through the initiation. Hallelujah. The children are still going through the same. They are still having fits. And yes. I'm still going to the hospitals. Remember when one child is having feeds, you stay 14 days in hospital. When we come out, the other one goes the same way. It doesn't stop. And as a mother, when your child is unconscious, part of you dies with the child. That's the trauma I had to go through until I met the God of, the God of Major One. I did not realize that... Uh, uh, remember when you were saying, Goma, now you know you snuff. Remember snuff you used to the incitation Who, and Whom everything. are you saying remember? There are others here? Yes, there are others here. <laughs> so do you remember? <laughs> Some of us, we were born... <laughs> when Major One came, we were born also. <laughs> we don't know these things. <laughs> okay. okay, those who have consulted with Sangomas, they know there's snuff involved in the Sangoma. So I was full-time on snuff. From 2014 until the day on a Friday I came here, I sat in the miracle tent at the back of the miracle tent. I went back home. I did not realize that I've stopped snuffing. Until a couple of weeks, I realized I no longer snuff, and I would send my husband to buy snuff. He still buys it every day because he knows I would wake him up in his sleep and say, I want snuff. But recently, I don't ask for the snuff anymore, and then I stopped. I never touched snuff again since March 2016. Hallelujah. I know, I know, I know God holds my future. I know, and I know, and I know, yeah. He holds my future. Somebody say, I know, say, I know, I know, I know He holds my future. I know, I know, I know, I know, say, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He holds my future. I know, I know, I know, I should, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He holds my future. Now listen. From glory to glory to glory. He's taking me higher. I don't fail, no. Everything I do prosper. Say I know, I know, yeah. He holds my future. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, yeah. He holds my future. We are almost at the end of this testimony. Remember when I sat in the miracle tent and I received my healing, I received my deliverance, my whole family was delivered. That day, my identity changed. I have come into contact with the God of Major One. Hallelujah. You need only to realize that. From then, at work, I started what, what, what happened with the, with the children? What is happening? The with children, the... I've never been to any doctor, any Sangoma ever since I stepped my foot on this ground. From March? From March. Until now, the children are completely delivered. It's the end of 2017. I have not knocked at any doctor's door or at any Sangoma's door, but I only came to the God of Major One and my problem was solved. Something is about to happen in your life today. 
I remember the past three, uh, few days, the prophet was telling us about his vision in heaven, where he had conversation with God himself, where he went to paradise. And he said, I, I, I remember, not in exact words, but he said, God told him that I have called you for stubborn situation. I've called you for tough people, people who are stubborn, people whom others have failed to change. Those are the people I've called you for. That's why here, if we can, line by line, we can ask, what were you before you, before Major One, what were you? That's when you know that the prophet of God. That's why you and me, nobody can convince us to tell us to leave the Major One. Because we visited other churches, but we were still witches. But when we come to Major One, everything changed about us. So nobody can change our mind. Nobody can convince us because we know what this God of Major One has done in our lives. And today is about to do even something big. You are coming back with your own testimony. Is there more? As I continue, and uh, my son, he had a problem of sleepwalking. But that also stopped as I came here in March. He's never sleptwalked again. We were using the mantle anointed by our father, Major One. He sleeps with it on top of the pillow. I put it on there and he sleeps. And he can never go to bed without this mantle. He says, I want my Major One blanket. I want my Lion of Judah. And I asked him, what does it do for you? He said, it protects me. So you are saying your son ever since he has been sleepwalking. Yes. And when you came here in March, you got this mantle yes. and you put it on his pillow. Yes. From that day, he never... Never again. I never catch my son walking in the house again. Fast forward. I started working uh, for the company, the trekking company, in 2015, September, on the 1st of September. And I've been having problems with my boss from then. He took me for the first hearing when I was only one month in that company. I was unemployed and he gave me a job. After he gave me a job, he became my worst enemy. It's your boss who gave you a job. This is my boss. And he's the same one who is taking he you for... He turned into my enemy. He did not want to see me. Whatever I did, no matter how hard I worked, no matter how, how hard I put extra work, he would not recognize it. When was that? 2015. And 2016, I went for another hearing. 2017, he gave me two hearings this year. And I said, this time but you are playing with fire. Why? I said, this time you are playing in the wrong ground. Now my identity has changed. Who has major one identity on them? Whoever wants to touch you, they are playing with fire. They I am touching unstoppable, unstoppable. Nothing can stand in my way. I said, right now you are playing with fire. I bought my disciplinary hearing. The last one I went to was on the 4th of July. I went for disciplinary hearing. He gave me seven charges. He meant to fire me. Giving a daughter of Major One seven charges. Seven charges. Remember, she's no longer submitting to Sangomas. 
She has changed her life. She has received Jesus to be her Lord and Savior. And now, the one who is looking after her life is none other than Major Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. Nothing bad can happen to those who are under this anointing. Nothing bad will ever happen to your life. I'm almost done. I came here as an international visitor <laughs> on the 9th of July. Because of that condition. That one was too worse for me. I could not bear it And you it were like, I'm taking it to my papa. Exactly. I, I said, believe international visitors, you have brought issues. You are coming with your own testimonies. And as I came here, Papa laid hands on us. I did not say anything because I knew Papa is a prophet of God. He knows me. He saw me before I came here. And I just opened my file like this. He laid his What was in it. the file? The file, it was the disciplinary hearing the in di front. Okay. Remember, I have forgotten my financials, whatever, whatever I came for here. But this man now was making it too personal. The and one I, who gave you a job? Yes. And I had to take it to my father, major one. The moment he laid his hand on it, I believed. I did not have to push to say to my father, Papa, Papa this, Papa this. I stood there as a daughter of Major One, and I believed. He laid his hand, I went back to work. A week later, I had a dream. My same boss wrote a letter saying goodbye. When I ca wait, when I came to work, he did not resign. I, two ladies resigned. These two ladies were working with him, where his niches apparently. They resigned. I said, no, 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 no. This is not the one Pap God of Major One showed me. This one need to go. <laughs> Goodness and mercy shall follow Hallelujah. me all of my days Hallelujah. now. <laughs> Living in glory and it's in my story. I'm singing in sailor. As I came from the international visitors, Papa gave us a gift of a lion of Judah and honey. Every time when I work Saturday, I would take my Lion of Judah from international visitors and I would spray in the whole office and I'll say, let them catch fire in the name of Jesus. The Lion of Judah did the work. Last week, last week, Tuesday or Wednesday, he sent the email. He sent the email saying, I'm no longer the operations manager of this department. I said, no, you are not saying it clearly. I'm waiting for another confirmation. The one reporting to him sent now the confirmation saying, now the operations manager has been affected by retrenchment. He is no longer the operations manager. Your enemies are being moved in the mighty name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy, follow me all of my days now. I'm living in glory and it's my story. I'm singing in sailor. Is it in the Holy Ghost? Everybody! Is it in the Holy Ghost? Are you in the Holy Ghost? Is it in the Holy Ghost? Let me hear you say! Is it in the Holy Ghost? Na 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 hey hey! If you see me say love, indicate I'm ready to overtake. 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 I'm ready to open it. Oh, 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 say, I am unstoppable, stoppable. Nothing can stand in my way. All things are possible. Hey, I am unstoppable, yeah. Hey, nothing can stand in my way. has given us a major prophet every Goliath standing on our way major one is about to take that one away in a we are about to pass in a bar he's about to do it for you
my sister you have uh, you have given us two powerful testimonies if not three amen now it's, it's concerning your children it's yes. concerning you being a sangoma yes it's concerning your workplace yes and all these have been changed after you encountered the god of major prophet shepherd Boshev. hallelujah and there are a lot of right now they might not be experiencing it at the same time but there are parents right now who have kids who are epileptic there are others who are suffering in their jobs right now yes. and there are others also who are going through this uh, initiation things without understanding what is happening with them yes. what can you tell them concerning the god of major one since this god has touched and changed your life completely all i can say to all the mothers out there who get so frustrated when your children are dying when you are facing a situation in your family god of major one is the answer this is the arena of liberty bring your problems right here there is nothing wrong don't be ashamed that you were a sangoma or you were initiated sangoma your ch your judges chapter six was your building block for your judges chapter seven hallelujah that what your chapter seven doesn't determine uh, today or who god of major one is gonna make you to be tomorrow that is your chapter seven where you are today so your yesterday was the building block for today believe in the god of major one as the bible says believe in god and you shall be established but believe in your pro in his prophets and you shall be hallelujah you know it i couldn't say it better than she has said it i believe you have caught the revelation your lives are changing in the mighty name of jesus Please, quickly, tell us your names, uh, where you're coming from, and your testimony. I firstly want to honor the, the grace of our father, Prophet Shepard Bushiri, and the grace of uh, my spiritual mother, Prophetess Mama Mary Bushiri. And I thank God for giving me the, such spiritual parents. Good day, ECG! My name is Matam Caesar, and besides me is my son Tabiso. I'm originally from Hrotflay, but uh, my hometown is in Limpopo, Stillport. <laughs> my son Tabiso was sick and admitted in the hospital. Uh, he was diagnosed with uh, TB. While he was in the hospital, um, he became very sick in such a way that they admitted him in ICU. For 20, he stayed there for 26 days. While he was in the ICU, uh, they also discovered that he has meningitis. The set is for the TB. Then they gave him uh, the, the treatment. They said the treatment will take 14 to 24 days. On the 24th day, nothing was improving then uh, at the meantime i was busy anointing my son with the with the lion of judah and the healing uh, water but since the condition was not improving i decided to come as an international visitor <laughs> international visitors are you there When I came as an international visitor, uh, I brought uh, my son's picture. It was only one picture. I didn't bring any documents because I really wanted my son to be, uh, life to be saved. I was sitting somewhere there and I told one of my members. And by that time, the child was in the hospital. He was in the hospital in the ICU. And all you brought was a picture. I only brought the I was having some documents, but I decided to put them in my bag and... I remained only with the picture of my son. Because last time when I came as an international visitor, I was having, uh, uh, I came in 2015, I was having the list of uh, my prayer point. But what, what brought me here uh, on that time, it happened last. The others, they did happen, all my prayer points, uh, petitions, they, they, they did come to pass. But the one that brought me here, it, it happens last. So this time I said, this case is very urgent. I'm going to bring my son's picture only. 
So when I was sitting that side, I was sitting somewhere there, I told one of uh, my neighbors, Papa is going to come where I'm standing and he's going to pray for my son's picture. Even when I left the hospital, I told him that I'm going to see Papa, he was going to pray for your picture and you are going to be fine. So the nurses, uh, they didn't want me to go looking at the situation of my son. They were saying, if you leave your son for these four days, who is going to look after your son? In my heart, I said, God of measure one will look after my son. So when I came here, I was sitting there. Papa uh, went uh, on that direction because, you know, Papa liked that direction. Then when he was about to come back, he just looked at me and he touched the picture. Then he came to the front, starting to preach uh, about how the devils are attacking our children to test our faith. It was on the 7th of July when I came here as an international visitor. So when I went back after, uh, okay, on Sunday, when he, he prayed for us, he gave us the gifts, and he said to us, I prayed for all of you, but there are five people in this hall. Your situations are, uh, is going to remain the same. So... Your faith is going to be tested. Some of you will give up and go to Sangomas, but remain in prayer. After uh, uh, 14 days, your problems will be solved. So uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't thought that I would be one of those. When I went home, but my, the situation of my son, because the infection of meningitis was going up daily, but when I arrived there, the doctor said to me, the, the, the infection is no longer going up. It's just stable. So I said, oh, God of major one. Then after 14 days, I realized after a week that, no, Papa touched my son's picture. So there's, uh, the situation is stable. My son is not getting better, but he's stable. Which means I'm, I'm one of those five. Let me wait for the 14 days. After 14 days, I came here. It was the night of faith. I was sitting in the overflow, having the picture of my son as well. <laughs> so when Papa was uh, asking people to raise what they believe God for, people were raising houses. I need those things. They were raising houses, cars, but I was having the picture of my son. So I went to the front uh, trying uh, so that they can show the picture of my son, but uh, they didn't manage to, but it's okay. Then when, when uh, Papa finished, he went into the office and he came to the overflow. I was standing there lifting up uh, the picture of my son. And Papa just stood there, looked at the picture for maybe 15 minutes, uh, not minutes, seconds. It can be many seconds. Then, <laughs> then he left, he went and do some declaration. Then he came back again to me. He pointed at me so that I can raise the picture. When I raised the picture up, he said, it is done. <laughs> so it was on Friday night. Saturday morning, I, I, went, I went to the hospital. When I arrived there, the doctor said, the infection is going down, like it was 400 and something. He said that the infection is going down, so your son is going to get better. Then she said to me, one of the nurses said, if this was not your son, I will say you did something to turn whatever you were planning to do with his life. You turned it back, backwards. So my son was not eating on that 27th day. If he can eat one spoon of soup, it was, it, it, I, I was celebrating. He, what he was doing, he was just vomiting. He was not eating, he was not going to the toilet for that 20, 26 days. And the stomach was swelling, even the legs were, or, he, he was swollen. But when I arrived there after the night of faith, after Papa declared that it is done, my son, when I arrived on, on, on Saturday, he just said to me, Mama, I'm hungry. I want pap and KFC. And an apple. Then the nurses said, no, you cannot give the, your child this hard food because he is being in the ICU and he, he, he was not eating for a longer period. I said, no, I'm going to give my son this. My son is healed. I brought the food to him and he ate them. While he was eating, he, he, he nearly vomited, but that's uh, the time when he goes to the toilet at the same time. Because when Papa said it is done, 
I, I knew my son was lying on the bed. I, I, I know that I do have faith. I'm not questioning, Pap. So when I rushed to the hospital, I wanted to see where, which part of the body is going to get healed first. My son started talking at the same time, eating and going to the toilet. And then after two days, he was discharged from the ICU to the ward. And then we went back home. So if you can follow what was happening all the time like the first time papa touched the picture the situation of my son remained stable the the the, the infection didn't go up anymore the second time when he declared that it is done my son was able to eat and go to the toilet the third time i came here to the testimony line to go and give the testimony because after that my son was using i don't know what to call it it's not the crash, it's something like this, you hold on it, I, I don't know what to call it. It's a support. Okay. A, is it that a walker? It's a walking aid. A walker? Yes. So he was using that to, to, to move from one point to another point? Yes, but when we arrived here, because uh, I left that thing at home, I was pushing him with the wheelchair to the testimony line. When I arrived there, they had my testimony. They said you are the daughter of Major One. When Papa said it is done, he didn't mean this. Go to the overflow. Papa, when Papa declared that people who cannot walk, your son is going to get healed. I went to the overflow to sit there by the sick people. We, 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 I sat there until the service was about to end. Hey, I said, now Papa is not declaring because I'm staying far. So what happened? Did he declare? Yes, when I, I, I was pushing the wheelchair about to go outside, Papa said, everyone who cannot walk, whilst stand are, up and walk. Whilst you are pushing the wheelchair outside. On my way out. The devil was driving me out of the hall now. And you, you were being driven. I was being driven unknowingly. And I forgive myself for that. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you when, know, this blame looks nice, ne? When you are doing wrong things and say the devil is doing this, it's like you are taking yourself out of the blame, you are putting it on the devil, but it is actually you who is doing that thing. So this is an excuse. I think the devil is giving me last. That's just an excuse. Work around it. You are a son, you are a daughter of Major One. Amen. Handle it, work around it. When Papa declared that if he can walk, stand up and walk, my son stood up and walked to the front. And from that day, he has been walking until now. And I want to so glorify you, the God. You are taking the child outside of the, the, the hall. Whilst on the way out, the prophet declared, whoever cannot walk, stand up and walk. Yes. And the child heard it, and immediately he stood from the wheelchair. Yes, and he, he walked, and I, fo I followed him to the front. Do you know if they got out before the prophet, this child could still be on the wheelchair? That's why the prophet says, a day that God has given me a message for somebody, that somebody does not come. Have you seen those things happening? So the child got up immediately. Until today, the child is walking. Until today, the child is walking. And the, the, uh, I took him to the doctor. He did, the doctor declares that he's fit to go back to school. So he's completely healed now. Yes, he never been to school for that uh, th uh, the, the last time. But he now he's completely now he's, he's healed. He can walk. He can do all the things. See, the anointing is touching the child. This is amazing. This is amazing. This can only be the God of Major Prophet Shepherd Bishop. The child was in the ICU for 27 year, days. The prophet says it is done. Two days later, the child is out of the ICU. It does not matter how you have been troubled. It does not matter how you have been in trouble. It does not matter the pain. The God of Major One is about to take the pain away. The God of Major One is about to remove that pain away. He is about to deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. He is about to deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are receiving your deliverance today. You are receiving your deliverance today. So, what can you say? What I can say to the whole world is that you must all believe that God of Medawan is doing miracles. 
If you, your eyes are not yet open now, they will never be open. This is the arena of liberty. So miracles are happening in this, in, in, in this hall. You can question one plus one. But you cannot question two. Immediately when the prophet declared that my son is healed, I knew that my son is healed indeed. And I want to thank God of Major One for this amazing miracle. You are about to receive your miracle today. You are about to receive your miracle today. The God of Major One is about to do it for you today. If there is anybody who is sick after the declaration of the prophet, you are coming with your own testimony. My sister, quickly tell us your name, where you're coming from, and your testimony. Yeah, my name is Gelikies from Maum, Botswana. Yeah. I greet you in the name of Jesus, daughter and sons of Major One. I came here on the 26th May as international visitor. Daughter and sons of Major One, I was sick, I was HIV positive. When I came here, I believe in my faith that when the Papa, when he touched me, I know that I'm healed. The day when Papa prayed us on Saturday, I know that I was healed. Even on Sunday, I, I know that I was healed. Then the daughter and sons of Major One, I went back to Botswana. When I get there... That, that is the reason you came as an international visitor? Yes, yes. When I came here, I want the healer for my, my body. Then I went back to Botswana. When I get there, on the 1st of June, I went to the test. Before I went, I just kneeled down and I prayed the God of Major One. I was using healing water and lion of children. I say, Papa, I'm leaving. I'm going to the hospital. I'm going to test myself. I know that I'm healed. Papa, he done it. Now I'm going. I didn't drive my car. I just used taxi to go to test myself. I went there to test myself. I go inside. Then when I get inside, I find a man. That man, he say, when you come here, what do you expect? I say, negative. He say, what? I say, I know that I'm positive, but the God of measure one, he's done it. He say, what is the God of measure one? I say, my God of my father. He say, wow. Then he took the test. He tested me. When he tested me, then he put a tray on the table. He said, can you open this tray? Then I open it. Then he said, what did you expect? What did you expect? I said negative. He took those tests and put on the table. I found negative. I said, thank the God of Measure One. What you have done in my life. You, you, you take shame out of my face. Now I'm held in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say to the whole world, if you don't believe on God of Measure One, you are a witch. Because I am healed by the power of Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. She knows what she's talking about. If you don't believe in the God of Major One, you are a witch. Whether you are a pastor, you are a witch. Hallelujah. Not even HIV can stand the anointing of Major Prophet Shepherd with you. We have heard what the God of our Father has done. We have heard the testimonies. I know you are next to come with your testimony. And because of this, I just want us to stand up and to connect to the anointing of our Father. So that when He's coming, He finds us ready and charged for whatever God has given Him to deliver in our lives today. I just want us to worship God and thank God for what He's doing in our ministry today. Just open your mouth and clap your hands and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go, Fra Talacadia Santa Ligos. Reco ya Santa Vaza. Pray, 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 pray. We worship you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for all you've done today, O oh God. You're a speaking God, you're a living God. There's nobody like you. We worship you, Jesus. We give you glory. 
we give glory to God glory to God glory to God forever we give glory to